Welcome to Healy Fit with your instructor, Jen. Today, I have a banded leg workout. So you'll need maybe a mat, but definitely a flat band to get the most work into your lower half. So when you come down, you're gonna take a seat. We're gonna start out onto your back. You're gonna wrap the band around your front right leg and then step your left leg over top. Grab hold of the bands, pull them down towards your hips, lean back slightly and just lift the leg up and down. You'll feel some of that work going into the quadricep, into the abs, and then you're also going to feel it into your back muscles as they pull against that band, trying to anchor it down towards the mat. You've got about three more. And rest. Let's take the band. We're going to place it around the bottom of the foot. Now go ahead, pull tightly with both hands. We're going to fold the other knee in. Now you're going to draw the band back towards you, working into the back, release and lift the leg up. Go ahead. So pull into the back and shoulders, release and lift the leg up. Let's do that a few more times. Pull, release, elevate. Good. So again, we're going to feel this into the upper back, into the rear deltoids, and then into that front quadricep. So we're getting a great posterior chain and front leg workout. So balancing out the front and back of the body. At the same time, you're stimulating your core because you've got that light backward lean. So anytime you lean back, you want to protect the back by drawing your abs in and up. That's going to be pulling the belly button in towards the spine back away from the waistband. Now keep the hands in close. And the next one, you're going to bend the knee and then press the leg out. Now option, you can take your left leg, extend it all the way out along the mat to give you a little bit better anchorage. You'll see I have to adjust my hand position there um, just to make sure I'm keeping the band in nice and close as your leg pulls away. I've got the um, heavy resistance band on me, so it is a little bit challenging to keep your balance and stability while still extending the leg out and in, no matter what band intensity you have. All right, release, switch sides. So we're going to wrap it around the left leg, bend the left knee, Thread it underneath. All right, and now going onto that left side, lift up and down. So again, hands pulled towards hips, light backward lean. About halfway there, let's keep it going. And done. All right, wrapping it around the bottom of the foot, we go into that sequence again. So leg extended, and that would extend that right leg as well to give you better anchorage. Pull, and then elevate. Go ahead, pull the band back, and then lift the leg. So even as you release the band, make sure you're keeping your chest open and expanded. Good. So you still want to keep the scapula pulled back, your shoulders pulled back, chest open, core braced. And let's do a few more like that in that sequence, pull and elevate, pull and lift, pull. And now go into that knee bend and extension. So you are simulating a leg press. This is not going to be quite as excruciating as going into your leg press machine in the weight room, but it is stimulating those same muscles. So into the quadricep and then in through the glutes. So as you press and extend and then fold, press and extend and then fold. Now at the same time, you're working into the back, which is why we wanted to kind of activate the back a little bit in that previous move make sure it was ready to hold us in nice and tight. All right, so next one, we are wrapping the band around both legs, lifting both legs up and then releasing both down. Go ahead, so see that light backward lean is allowing our legs to come up 
You're going to feel this one in the quads, maybe in those hip crease, hip flexor muscles, and then also into your abdomen. So again, make sure anytime you are lifting into the legs, you are pulling your abs in and down away from the waistband. Let's scoot on down to your mat. Place the band over kind of mid thigh towards the hip. Hands reach down towards heels. We're going to drive up through the heels into a hip bridge now. So kind of activating into those glutes. And now we work into them a little bit harder. Drive through the heels. Squeeze into the backside using your hamstrings and glutes to press the band up and away from the mat. Now here's where you're going to want that band taut around the thighs with the hands pressed down towards the floor and you're going to try to keep them as close to the mat as you can. As the hips rise up, you might have a little bit more of a challenge keeping those arms down. Awesome. All right, next move. You're going to wrap the band around. I'm holding it over into my left hand, tight to the thigh. And I'm just opening and then squeezing back shut. So the band is taut at the point where I'm not using those outer thighs and glutes. If you want a little bit more, you are going to raise the hips up off the mat and do that same exercise, opening, so abduction, and then releasing back to neutral. Pull and then release. Do that a few more times. All right, as you come down, just switch sides. Good, so now that right hand wrapping tightly around the band. First start by doing that abduction open and shut. Good, so squeeze those Pilates people in the room. This is your clamshell from reclining or maybe from that bridge position. Let's go lift those hips up and try from here. Go ahead, so a little bit more stimulation into the outer glute, outer thigh, as we open up, pressing against the resistance of the band. Awesome. All right, next up, we're gonna wrap the band around the bottoms of the feet. You can have your head up or down, and you're gonna pull all the way and then draw the knees in. All right, so kick the legs out, pull against the band, lift up, and then release back down. Good, now every time you come up, try to come up a little bit higher. Draw the knees in, extend the legs out, and then pull, 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 pull. Good, getting closer and closer to that kind of teaser or V-sit position as you lift up. God, using the band to assist you, lower the legs go, the more you are going to be able to lift up because you're going to have that ability to kind of counter the upper body with the lower body. Good. Draw in, kick out, and lift. Awesome. Almost there. Just a few more of these. Lift, 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 lift. And done. All right, let's go in next to our outer thigh. So you're going to wrap the band against your top outer thigh. Here I have left leg on top. I have top hand holding onto the band, kind of... I tried around the belly button, but I think in front of the thigh is a little bit better to keep your band on that flat edge. Otherwise, you have run the risk of it um, rolling up on you. Good. So abs in tight. We are in our side leg lift positioning. So you've got the back edge of your mat lined up along the back edge. And then you've got your feet kind of angled around to the front. This is working into the outer thigh, outer glute as you elevate up, just watching that leg. And now let's switch from the top leg to your bottom leg. We're going to wrap it around kind of mid to low thigh. 
Now here I'm using my bottom arm, but you could also use your top arm. Your top knee is bent back behind the bottom leg, so you get a little bit better range of motion, and you roll towards the meaty part of your glutes. Now, if you've got your top hand onto the band, you can use your bottom elbow to kind of prop you up like we did earlier. Otherwise, you're in kind of a side abdominal crunch into that oblique crunch as you lift and lower into the leg. All right, so let's try that same sequence on the other side. So now top leg wrapped around. Toes pointed out to the front edge of the mat, back lined up along the back edge of the mat, top hand to hip or down in front of the belly, holding onto your band, lift and lower. Go ahead to that side leg lift, working a little bit deeper into the outer thigh, into the glutes with that band resistance. Let's do a few more of these, lift and lower. Now option here, toes point up, toes flex on the way down. That's gonna stop some cramping into the bottoms of the feet. If you're wondering why I keep my toes pointed, it is, it is just something I've done over the course of time. Um, I've been doing Pilates for about 25 years, so nothing hurts anymore. Just kidding, everything hurts. Roll onto the meaty part of the glutes. Let's do the inner thigh. All right, so bottom arm or top arm wrapping around that band. Lift against that resistance, back foot. You can have your heel up or down. Squeezing through the inner thigh as you elevate the leg. Go ahead, so see on side one, I had a little bit more oblique engagement. On side two, I've got my bottom hand cradling the head, so I've got a little bit of that support into the outer edge of my trunk. Awesome. We are going to take the band here. Wrap it around the bottoms of the feet. And good news is we are gonna use it to stretch. So just pull your hands against the band, release your body down towards your thighs. Let's open up along those glutes and hamstrings up into the lower back. Let your head drop down as far as you're comfortable going. Feel that stretch along the backside. Let's go ahead, ditch that band. Take one leg, cross it over top of the other, open up the outer thigh into the glute. So from knee down to hip. This is a great stretch for you runners out there. Iliotibial band, outer thigh, glute. Now as you release the leg, you're just gonna bring it down to the side and then lean out over it. So first I kind of pressed it down towards the floor, encouraging that inner thigh stretch and then leaned out over it, going a little bit deeper. Switching sides, other leg comes in, crosses over, hip to knee. You can also knead the outer thigh if it has a little bit of tightness or tension holding on to post-workout. As you bring the leg out to the side, just a little bit of pressure encouraging it and then lean out over the thigh, going as deep as feels good for you. Right from here, bottoms of the feet together into your yoga, Baddha Konasana, your bound angle, your butterfly. You can use this kind of ballistic fluttering of the knees or you can just drop them down to the floor coming into a seated position arms reach up to the sky take one wrist at a time lengthen from your fingertips down to your shoulder such an awesome workout today thank you so much for joining me arms reach out to the sides go ahead bring it in give yourself a well-deserved hug you all are fantastic thank you again have an amazing day take care and be well